Whatever happened to that guy, Hakeem? Remember Hakeem? Do you remember that? Or you weren't with me when Hakeem used to call me all the time. He was a security guard. And he'd call me while he was on security. I mean, on the job. I'm cracking up. Hakeem, if you're out there, call me. We can do an old-timer show, too, here. Who else? Crazy Jim, of course, he harasses everybody now. But he only used to harass me, remember? Crazy Jim calls now and then. Man, he is crazy, too. I can't remember everybody. E. Frankie, story of Queens. What happened to Mackey? Oh, Mackey. All right, let's keep moving. And by, there's many, many others. I just can't go through the whole list. Once again, I start on a list, and I shouldn't. But it'd be, I think, fascinating for the nation to hear all the characters that used to call this show. The, uh, Rich in New Jersey, the great WABC. Go. Well, Mark. Now, get, off the, get off the speakerphone and get on the regular phone. Is that better? Yes, you were blowing my ear out there. Go right ahead. Uh, yes, Mark, I was checking my computer, and it said this country ranks number 37 in health care, where other countries are doing a lot. Really? Better. And what phony group, what phony left-wing front group put that out? Give me their name, sir. Um, I don't remember. No, well, why don't you go find out? Get out of here. Yeah, 37 out of 190-some countries, America. Well, I have some advice for you. Leave. Leave so there's more health care for the rest of us. Go. How many countries does an ambulance come to your front door? Whether you have to pay a few hundred bucks or not. Within minutes. Would people on those, those, those ambulances that are as highly skilled and trained, who are trying to save your life to get you to the hospital, then you go to the hospital. And depending on your condition, if it's bad, they take you right in. They don't know you from Adam or Muhammad or Juan or whomever. And they try and save your life immediately. The best doctors, the best nurses, the best technicians on the face of the earth, with the best equipment on the face of the earth. And they try and take care of you. And they try and save your life. And then they find out maybe you're an illegal immigrant. You don't have two pesos to rub together. So what? They still do it. And if you need to stay there for three months, you stay there for three months. Don't give me this. We're number 37, you idiot. By the time Obama's done, we'll be number 37. Oh, this country's so horrible. Too many rich people. Health care sucks. Uh, the water's dirty. The air's dirty. What are we going to do? Meanwhile, we can't keep people the hell out of here. Come on, let's all go to America. It's racist. Excuse me? Come on, let's all go to America. They have the worst health care system. And, uh, what? What? Come on, America sucks. Let's sneak across the border and get into America. You can tell that guy's an older guy. He's been subsidized most of his life, sitting on his ass. Probably had a beer and a couple hot dogs. I've been on a computer. And uh, we're number 37. Then good, go to number 36. Get the hell out of here. Honestly. You know what's great about this country? You can leave. We don't build walls to keep people in. We don't even build walls to keep people out. But you can leave. The fact that you're born here, if you're such a self-hater, don't screw it up for the rest of us. We love this place. Just leave.